guys so today um, I just got the Alyssa Edwards palette in the mail yesterday so I'm going to do my first look with it so this is a first impressions I've never used it before I opened it and I swatched it because I have no self-control but yeah as you can see it hasn't been dug into or anything so I'm um, just gonna go ahead and get started I already did my eyebrows and primed my eyes okay so like I said I've already done my eyebrows and primed my eyes I have an idea of the look I want to do and to achieve that look and to make sure that I have a nice crisp line I'm just gonna take some scotch tape in my little kitty container there's probably better tape to do this with than scotch tape um, like medical tape or something because scotch tape does kind of stick to your skin really bad but I always put it on the back of my hand first and kind of let it let some of the tackiness go away before I place it and then, this is gonna be really hard because I am not really close to the mirror but you don't want it right up against your lower lash line because then the I think the line looks kind of funny. And just angle it however you want it and gently pat it down. You don't want it like super stuck to your skin, which I might have done anyway, because it will hurt when you rip it off. So I'm just going to do that on the other eye. And this, this is a great trick if you're not very good at eyeliner or you need some help with eyeliner which I'm gonna be honest like eyeliner still terrifies me um, this is a great trick for doing eyeliner too all right so those look pretty even okay so first I'm gonna go in with believe this one not that one this one which is a matte purple oh don't mind my nails they're still stained with hair dye but um, I'm just going to go in on this little Wet n Wild brush. It came in one of their holiday sets. Um, it's a really nice brush, but I don't think you can get it outside the set. And here comes Minda. Okay, sorry if I'm at a different angle. Minda decided to come through and knock my phone over. So anyway, now I'm going in with Believe on um, this Wet n Wild brush. And I'm just going to take that in the crease. Work a little bit at a time. I do want it brighter than that, but I'm just going to stick with just a little bit for right now because I'm going to go in with the blue here in just a minute, but let me get this eye done first. Okay, so there's our first step done. Um, like I said, that's just believe kind of smoked out in our crease. Then, let's see, let me find a brush. Okay, now I'm gonna take this blue shade called Dream It, this pretty blue right here, and this is a BH Cosmetics Studio Pro Number no. 8 brush, and I'm just gonna lightly dab into Dream It because I know this is pigmented, I've seen people's looks with it, and we're just gonna take it a little lower in the crease here And we're also going to take it on the outer corner because I want to do like a half cut crease today. Kind of wing it out on the ends here. And don't worry if it looks kind of like weird right now. I'm going to go back in with the purple and blend it out more. excuse this in my inner corner I don't know if you can see it but this eye I don't know it doesn't matter what I do it like skips eyeshadow in this one spot over here so it's not the eyeshadow it's not the primer it's just my eye I've tried like literally everything and it always does that okay so now that I've got the shape pretty much how I want it um, I'm gonna go over and do the other eye there's a little bit of fallout. 
but I kind of expected that. Fallout doesn't make me mad. I know it bothers some people, but I really don't care. <laughs> This blue is literally what dreams are made of. I don't have another blue like this in my collection, believe it or not. It's just, it's so pretty. Okay, now I'm going back into Believe with that same um, Wet n Wild brush I used before. And just, I'm taking just a tiny little bit of it on the brush and we're just gonna kinda blend it back out in the crease blend it a little better and add a little bit of color back to it. Oops. Don't do like I did and put way too much of it in one spot. So I like these colors a lot because obviously they're pigmented, but if you go in with a light hand, they're really easy to build so that you don't like just go in and it's like whoa that was way too much sorry my voice is kind of gravelly today i don't know i i woke up and my throat hurts a little bit i hope i'm not getting sick i hope it's just from the weather or something okay so now that we have our crease area done i'm gonna take some um tart shape tape concealer just put a little bit of it on the back of my hand and I'm gonna cut my crease. Um, I'm gonna bring it just just right here to where I stopped the blue. Um, I'm not gonna do a full cut crease today. I'm just gonna... Mm, you know what, I'm gonna grab a different brush. This one's frayed. Okay, so I'm taking my concealer on what is this? This is a Real Techniques pointed liner brush. I don't know who in the world would be using this for eyeliner, but it works great for cut creases. And this brush is just a brush that came in a kit. Um, that my friend Sydney got me. I think it was from Hobby Lobby, but. Oh, when we get closer to the original color we put down, I just kind of lightly tap on the excess color so it's not so harsh, because we're gonna go in and blend that anyway. So now I'm going to go in with, what is this, Texas Made, this really pretty bright pink on a Morphe um, M421 brush. And I'm going to take it on this outer edge here and we're going to start to create a transition. This is pigmented, oh my gosh. Okay, so definitely go in with a light hand with Texas Made because, oh my goodness. Wow, that is such a pretty pink. This part's going to look really messy and blocky and gross until we go back in later and blend it out more. But don't worry, it'll come together. At least I hope it does. So now that we've got kind of a base laid down, like I said, it's going to look really messy right now, but I promise it'll look better when I'm done. Okay, so now I'm going to go in with Brick Road, this yellow color on 
Um, it's just another Morphe M421. It's just a clean one. And then we're just going to put that on the rest of the lid here. This one's got a little bit of fallout, but I always do my eyes first anyway, just because I know fallout happens, and I really don't care that much. I'm also probably digging into a pan a little harder than I should. You want to kind of start blending it into the pink a little bit. Um, I find that actually it works out quite well with one of these flat brushes to just kind of bring it over. Now that we've got some color laid down, I'm going to go in with this, back in with this brush that we used Texas Made on. I don't have any more product on it right now. We're just going to kind of go over the edges into Brick Road and start blending it out a little bit more. take this um, BH Cosmetics, what is this? This is a V20 brush. It's clean. It doesn't have any product on it, but I'm going to use it to kind of just further blend this pink into this yellow. Okay. Just go back in and touch up as needed. Now we're going to go back in with the BH Cosmetics Studio Pro Number no. 8 brush that we originally used Dream It, the blue shade on, and I'm going to very, very lightly, I mean like very just like lightly tap into it and then we're going to blend out this outer corner a little bit more. I think that's good. Okay, now that I've got all the shadows laid down, I'm gonna peel the tape off. If you use tape, be very careful. Always test it on your skin first if you have sensitive skin. Yeah, that was still a little too sticky, but it's okay. So here's what we've got so far. I'm really impressed with this palette. I knew I was going to be, like, I've seen the reviews, I've seen all the hype about it. It was colors that, obviously, I love. So I knew I was going to love it, but I'm just, I'm I'm so pleased with it. I'm, I will definitely be doing more looks with it. These are just my colors. They're so bright. They're so fun. But um, I'm going to finish getting ready. Alright, guys, this is the finished look. I love the Alyssa Edwards palette. I know I'm going to get so much use out of it. It's such a good palette. I mean, we've all seen the reviews. We've all seen the hype. It's it's definitely worth the hype. I'm very glad I got it. Um, I love this look. I love the palette. I can't wait to play with it more. And yeah, um, I should have the ColourPop Uh -huh Honey palette soon. I ordered it on launch day. So I plan on doing a video with that as soon as it comes in. I'm just waiting for them to ship it. I'm so excited. But yeah. 
So here's the finished look. I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope this was in some way helpful and I will talk to you later. Oh my god, Minna, that is not gonna work. Why? Minna just knocked over my other ring light. Are you kidding me? Hi, Shelby. Shelby Cobra. Can you see Shelby? Hey, Shelby Cobra. Shelby, Shelby. Really, Shelby?